Here is part 2 of the 2 video series for beginners how to start your own food truck business. If you're a food entrepreneur and have not subscribed be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our new videos each week. Alright, let's get started. Next up step 6. Invest in a food truck Given that your food truck vehicle will account for the majority of your startup money, it's critical to choose one that will be a good fit for your business. When selecting the vehicle that will become your food truck, there are a few factors to consider, including the following, choosing whether to lease or purchase your truck choosing between a new and a used vehicle, choosing a trustworthy food truck vendor, choosing which truck customizations you'll require. These decisions play an important role in determining how much do you need to start a food truck. It's also a good idea to get insurance for your truck and business to protect against any potential physical damage and liabilities. To become street legal, you may need to complete your inspections and permits after purchasing a food truck vehicle. Take a look at our in-depth food truck purchasing guide for additional information on how to buy a food truck. Next up step 7. Get your food truck supplies and equipment. After you've obtained a truck, the following step is to equip your space with food truck equipment and supplies. These items will be required for the production of your goods as well as the smooth operation of your truck. You'll need the following items to stock your food truck as an example. Grills, ranges, fryers, microwaves, and toasters are examples of cooking equipment. Countertop food warmers, soup kettles, and fry dump stations are examples of warming and holding equipment. Work tables, chef knives, cutting boards, cookware, kitchen utensils, and kitchen thermometers are all examples of food preparation equipment. Disposable takeout supplies, meal trays, napkins, cups, and plastic cutlery are all examples of serving equipment. Prep tables, under-counter refrigeration, and ice machines are all examples of refrigeration equipment. Hand sinks, compartment sinks, floor mats, sanitizing chemicals, garbage cans, recycling bins, and floor care products are all examples of janitorial equipment. Up next step 8. Select a food truck POS system If you own a food truck, you'll almost certainly require a mobile point-of-sale POS system. These devices let you to accept credit card payments directly from your truck, but internet access is required. Customers are less likely to have cash on them, which might restrict your client base. Many food trucks choose to operate on a cash-only basis in order to avoid relying on internet connectivity. Nevertheless, customers are less likely to have cash on them, which can restrict your client base. As a result, food truck entrepreneurs are opting for POS systems that can accept both cash and credit cards. Many food truck businesses utilize Clover POS for food trucks. You also have a choice of using systems by Toast as well. Toast POS for food truck system can be integrated easily into your food truck. Compare the food truck POS system costs based on monthly fees and the equipment you need to buy. Also keep in mind there are food truck inventory management software WHCIH can keep track of your inventory. Next up step 9. Invest in marketing and advertising for food trucks. Because your food truck will not have a permanent address, promotion and marketing are critical to its success. You can employ a variety of marketing strategies to increase public knowledge of your business. Here are a few marketing ideas for food trucks. Here are a few food truck advertising ideas to help you brainstorm. Make your eye-catching logo stand out. Your food truck logo should be the starting point for a food truck advertising plan. Put it on your vehicle, flyers, and the internet. Be sure to do a food truck market analysis to include your local county or city. Create an eye-catching menu board. You'll want to make sure your menu board is easy to read, appealing, and properly displays your food. Make a website with images of your typical sites, as well as a About Our Company section. You can go online and get free food truck marketing plan PDF. Create social media accounts for your company so that customers may be aware of upcoming events, see photos, and interact with it. Locate unusual spots for your food truck. Going where everyone goes will only get lost in the crowd. 
At first, you'll want to look around different communities to see where your company might suit in best. Once you've found great venues, go there on a frequent basis to build brand familiarity with your customers. Participate in community activities such as catered parties and food truck festivals. Wine and food festivals, corporate events, sporting events. Customers will become more familiar with your company as a result of these events. Sell t-shirts with your company's logo or slogan on them. Customers can buy t-shirts, travel mugs, and stickers from you at your truck or online. Lastly step 10 just start. Don't just have a dream of a food truck business make it happen. It will take time, work, and imagination but remember nothing ever happened by just thinking about it. The benefits and drawbacks of starting a food truck Food truck businesses have a distinct mix of advantages and problems that you should think about before moving forward with your venture. The benefits of starting a food truck The ability to move around, and completely mobile has its advantages. With a food truck, you may relocate your business from one area to another, thereby growing your consumer base and enhancing your advertising opportunities. Flexibility is a must. You have the freedom to offer fresh cuisine to events and festivals without having to rent equipment. Furthermore, when it comes to changing their menus and scheduling, food trucks have more flexibility. You can alter a menu as fast as you wish, or stick with what works and find new places to park. Deductions for taxes. Food truck entrepreneurs can deduct a variety of expenses from their taxes that aren't available to traditional restaurant owners, such as the vehicle itself and truck storage leasing fees. The difficulties of starting a food truck like any other business this is not an easy business to grow and start. I won't sugarcoat it. When I started my food business 12 years ago it was, and still remains a huge challenge. Competition is a good thing. It can be challenging to break through and establish a concept that would stand out in the crowded food truck market. Long shifts. A food truck can take a lot of time to maintain, such as venue scouting, cleaning, and event planning. Zoning regulations. It can be tough for food truck owners to keep up with zoning rules and municipal rules that govern where they may park their trucks and how long they can stay in one location. Opening a food truck can be difficult, but if you follow the steps outlined above, you'll be well on your way to developing a thriving business. So if you liked the video give us a thumbs up. If you have questions about starting a food truck let us know in the comments.